Out of the past five years now, the 15th region softball title has been decided between the McGoffin County Lady Hornets and the Johnson Central Lady Eagles. Johnson Central has rightfully claimed three out of five with McGoffin County picking up the other two. In an interesting game tonight, full of defense, defense, and some more defense all night long, both teams looking to catch a break. The Eagles trailing by just one in the top of the seventh, and the tying run stands on third. Freshman Elena Castle makes something shake and roll, literally roll so slow that she beats it out at first base. Jazzy Howard, of course, a fast arm, and that's a shocker there. But she gets that RBI and some free softball at Shelby Valley in extra innings. The Hornets unable to score, moving to the top of the ninth. That freshman, she did it again. Elena Castle smacks one to the left center field fence for the double and another RBI, putting the Golden Eagles up by one. And the only thing left to do is to get three outs, and that they do. Bailey Daniel catches one of her own, and then McKaylin Pierce picks up a ball hit back to her on the mound. And to end the game, Shelby Cantrell, the third baseman, will ground one and make the out at first as the Eagles now win three in a row as they head to Owensboro next week for the state championship. Final score from Shelby Valley High School. I had the chance to catch up with head coach Chris Pierce and some of the Lady Eagles. Well, they, we beat them twice this year, and it was close games both times. And you know, law of averages comes in, and you're worried if this is the time they're going to get you. You know, uh, it would have been real easy for it to snowball on us, and us uh, end up losing that game because of the snowball effect. And we, they held strong, they kept their composure, stayed calm, and they worked through it and got the win. Well, it feels pretty good. We've worked really hard over, I mean, since seventh grade, and I mean, that's what you want to go for regional championship so you can get to the state tournament. Yeah, I mean, we've been in the final game for like six years now, and like we've won four out of the last six, and it's just an amazing feeling, especially the last three in a row. To go out with a bang in your senior year, get the last three, it's awesome. It's amazing. I, there's no way else I wanted to end this at. I just can't wait to go to Owensboro and make some noise down there again. So I'm excited for that. But we've won our first game. Our nerves are over. We know what to expect. We know what to go into. We know how to practice. We know how to prepare, and we're just ready for who we got. I'm really speechless. I don't really know what to say here. Um, it, I don't know, I just knew I had to step in and do something. I didn't want to see these seniors leave. I wasn't ready for them to leave today. Play every game like it's your last. Some of the best times of your life. Yeah, definitely. Amazing game it was to watch tonight at Shelby Valley High School. Looking ahead to the uh, state championship, Madison North Hopkins and Christian County from Region 2. That team right there, Madison North Hopkins, defeated Christian County 7-5. to five. Once again, that's Madison North Hopkins versus Johnson Central in the first round of the state tournament.